After following the tagging rooms for the tagging rooms for the room plan video, you'll end up with something like this. Oh, I just noticed that my living room is not actually renamed. So excuse me while I change that. All right, so now that I have all of my rooms tagged, labeled, numbered, etc., it's time for me to do a few things. First off, at the start of the last video, I hid in view by category my property lines and my uh, setback lines. So if you had not done that already, please go ahead and do that. The next thing I want to do before I add any dimensioning, which is one of the things I'll do next, is I want to make it so that this text is a lot more manageable. So right now it's giant because this view is not set up on a sheet and not scaled down. So before I go to set it up, I will make sure that cropping view is turned on and I want to show the cropped region. Right now, it should be pretty tight around it, which I'm actually going to leave this alone. If you have a larger area, you're going to want to bring it about this close so that you have room for some dimensions. Have, because of the fact that I've done mine already once, um, you might not be so lucky as to have yours already cropped around. So make sure you hide the cropped region before you move on. When you go down to your, excuse me, I scrolled past it, sheets. You don't have any sheets right now. So right click where it says sheets, pick new sheet. You should go to the D sized paper. Even though initially we're going to print it on small paper, eventually we're going to print it on D-sized paper and there's no reason to redo your layout. So please use D-sized paper for all the pages in this project. Go ahead and pick OK. You'll now have an empty D-sized sheet. Scroll back up and find my ground level room plan. Drag it out and click to put it in the middle of the sheet. I'm going to change my type to no title. And I'm going to change my scale. Most people, because of just our, because of our lot sizes, should be able to use quarter inch to a foot. For me, that gives me a view like this. I'm going to go ahead and move this down a little bit to just kind of have it centered in the workspace. If you need to, you can pick a different size view. But right now, you can already see that my text has gotten quite a bit smaller and quite a bit more manageable. When I go back to my ground level room plan, everything has changed. Now for some of you, you might need to make some changes. Some of these are hanging out. So if I get on, if I click the itself, you can see I can move and get the move arrow. That way I can bring this up to make sure that this bathroom information is not hanging down. I could center the mud room one more. This walk-in closet be moved up a little bit. Laundry room can be moved over. These are the types of things that you want to do. Now again, make sure you click on it once, then get on a border to get the ability to move stuff around. Walk-in closet, master bathroom, the wall is overlapping this, so I'm going to click that once, move these over into a spot where I can see the whole thing. Okay. You're going to check out kind of your whole area and make sure everything is good. Okay. Now for some of your stuff, you might not be able to totally fix it. Okay. For me in this hall closet, I'm just going to kind of have to be okay with the fact that it's overlapping some. I might fine tune it later. And you'll also notice my hallways are white. Leave them white, please. All right. So we're now going to use our dimensioning tool to dimension a few things. First off, I'm going to use the dimensioning tool up here and I'm going to start to show major out exterior dimensions. So for example, from all the way at the front to all the way at the back, what is that dimension? We have a fairly major sized bump out here. So I'm going to go ahead and size that one up. The rest of the house in terms of width I can size up there. I do like to align my dimensions. It seems to make it look a lot nicer. I'm going to size up this edge here. 
And because it'll help it to look complete, go ahead and size most of this up. Again, some of these walls are not sized, which is fine. Now you'll notice all of my dimensions are already coming up without any of their fractions. You're probably not going to be so lucky. There's a setting that I've already set that I'm going to show you where it is now. So as I go to Manage and then Project Units, it's the one that looks like a scoreboard here, I want to go to where it says Length and click that gray box. Right now, your rounding is likely set to the nearest eighth of an inch or sixteenth of an inch, somewhere down in here. You need to move it to the nearest inch. Not six inches, not nearest foot, the nearest inch. Once you do that, all of your dimensions should show exactly like this does. I'm also going to want to go in, especially on these larger ones, and give you an interior dimension, one in each room. I don't need the full dimensions. However, or I don't need both directions, but I should get at least one direction. Position these so that they are easy to read. Um, my master bedroom or bathroom has some interesting walls in it, so I'm going to make sure to pick that direction first. Okay. But in most instances, it's not going to matter which ones you pick. I picked this direction because it makes the most sense because I have some dividing walls here. And I will go throughout my entire house and all of these rooms that I labeled, put at least one of the dimensions on them. Once it's all done, I can set up the rest of this view. You can see all my dimensions come over even after I've already set this up. A couple things you'll need to know. First off, the page number. Sorry, I still have my dimension tool. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. Our page number, this is going to be D02. The name of the plan is going to be your room plan. Scales filled in. Author, you probably know that one. And remember, your project name should be your address of the house. That's going to be the same on every one. This is how you set this up. 